what's up guys today i'm making a video on a laptop uh, running windows 7 and i'll be showing you if you forgot the password and you have some precious data in it and you want to retrieve it how can you do that so let's say see the username or password is incorrect so it's pretty simple you just have to go through a few steps and if you follow along you know step by step pause the video if you have to but do not miss the whole video because if you miss a step you won't be able to get it through but i assure you at the end of the video you will have access to the to your laptop like whatever if you want to retrieve pictures or anything without losing data for sure and now let's say you are on this screen and the first step is you can force shut down the laptop you can hold the power button for approximately five to seven seconds when the screen goes blank you let it go okay so wait a couple seconds after the black screen and then you power it on again hold it for three two seconds and let it go mind you you might have to you might have to do this step two to three times until you see the screen i'll show you i'm gonna shut it down again one two three four five six seven you're gonna make sure you hold it for seven seconds and leave it for three seconds so it shuts down completely and then you power it on again and eventually you will see this on the screen so after rebooting it a couple times you should be able to see this let me show you says so zoom it in so once you see launch repair startup that's where you have to press enter and then you will see this screen window is loading files now this it will go black the screen and this step t might take, uh, you know, a while. So make sure, you know, your laptop is uh, plugged in into the wall charger. So you don't want it to die during this process. Otherwise it could be, you know, catastrophic loss. And Now we just have to wait for a pop-up window and after that I'll show you what to do and trust me you will not lose your data okay just bear with me and eventually you will have access to your laptop so once you see this uh, pop-up message saying Windows cannot repair this computer automatically that's all you need so you're gonna click right here where it says view problem details click there and then scroll down all the way down and you see this link where it says where it says windows system 32 here right here if you see my finger and then you click on this link that will open another window so then you click on file open and then go to computer mind you to, to reach to this step you might have to wait 15 20 minutes even half an hour depending on the specs of your system so be patient and keep trying so after you go to systems then i gotta go to d drive because my windows is installed in d drive so in your system or your laptop, it could be C or B. You gotta figure that out because once you go in that folder, you should be able to see this word, Windows. So once you see Windows, you double click on Windows and then you scroll down and now you're looking for, you're looking for System32 folder, which is right here. And do not tell me that you cannot find it because every computer has this folder, okay? If you cannot find it, look again. Now, once you are in System32, 
you change the uh, file type in all into all files right now you're saying text documents no all files because the file we're looking for to find that file we need to change it now the first file will be looking here mind you you're only changing two file names okay don't be confused but just type whatever I say so you go I mean click on any folder and you're looking for UTIM so once you see this util man here with this blue circle let me zoom it in it's very important okay you click on that right one you see the way my cursor is right here okay i'll leave it zoomed in i'll leave it zoomed in so you click on it okay and then you gotta you gotta name it okay you can click f2 or you can right click and rename it so you're gonna change the name and you name it let's say cmd1 okay cmd1 and then you press enter okay and now the next thing you're looking for is cmd which is right here okay and you can see this with the black background so this time we're gonna right click on it and rename it to util man so so capital u t i l m a n okay and then you press enter so once you do that you're pretty much done here you x this you can close this window you can close this window as well and then you press cancel okay Okay, so you you can restart that or reboot the system. So it might sound complicated, but trust me, once you go and follow the, the video step by step, you will be amazed. Like it was not that hard. So now just give it a minute to boot. I'm sure if you're running Windows 7, I mean, it's gonna be an old computer, so. You gotta be patient it's pretty it's pretty fast so you're gonna click here and then you'll see the cmd window popping up right away once you click there now so net space user net space user okay and then you press enter now here it will show it will show like how many users this computer has so there are three users one admin one administrator and one guest okay now you know when you when it asks for password usually it, it tells you the username so you should be able to mine in my case is admin sorry i'm just trying to fix the cam okay so mine is admin now i'm gonna type here net space user space capital A D M I N why capital because here it says capital okay so you gotta I hope you can see it yeah here we go so a uh, user space admin space okay A B C D one two three four okay abcd one two three four remember this password because i will log i'll be logging in with this password okay now yeah okay now you can see the command completed successfully now i can x this and So I'm going to show you the keyboard. So A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. So I'll type the password and boom, shakalaka, laka, boom. Okay, here we go. You see, I did not have much data in this computer, okay? But 
I do have access to my whole system. I need to install some drivers because it's Windows 7. Okay, but it's good to go. So you can access all your folders, files, whatever you need here. So I hope you like the video. Please follow if you if you want to see the future videos and I'll be making more videos on Windows 10 and 11. The procedure will be slightly different, but it's going to be pretty much the same way. Anyway, and uh, trust me, it was worth watching the whole video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next video.